Hi, Ben here at Artec Wilden. Today we're going to look at the uses and the benefits of a flow meter. So the Argon flow meter, it's very easy to use, very simple to set up. It's measured in liters per minute on the gauge and it runs from zero to 25. They can be used with pure Argon, so for example with a TIG or an Argon CO2 mix for MIG use. So the main benefits are its accuracy and efficiency. A lot of regulators do have a flow rate, but they will never be as accurate as what a flow meter is. Therefore, in the long run, it's gonna be a lot more efficient as you know exactly what flow rate you're running at. So as far as setup goes, it's really simple. If you've already got a standard setup with a regulator and the gas hose going into the side, just loosen off that gas hose, add the flow meter into the side of the regulator, and then the gas hose fits into the bottom of the flow meter, and you're good to go. The fittings are a standard 3 8 BSP, so just a nip-up with a spanner is fine. How they work is very simple. There's just a ball bearing inside a tube, and when the gas is running, that will push the ball bearing up and down and show you exactly what flow rate is running. Nice and easy to set up. There's a small dial on the side, and that will dictate what flow you're running at. For TIG, we advise six to eight liters per minute, and for MIG, we advise 10 to 15 liters per minute. While on the subject of that ball bearing, there's a little tip that I like to do. To do it, the outer casing can just be removed, so that just unscrews. Then the inner tube just pulls out. Then being careful not to lose the ball bearing, just pour it out of the tube. Get yourself a marker pen. Then just draw yourself a small little line on the ball bearing, just like that. And then we just reassemble the way we disassembled, sticking the tube back in the middle, and then the outer casing on the top, just ensuring all seals are still intact and you haven't lost anything. What that does is it enables you to see the ball bearing moving at very low gas flow. So if you've got any leaks sort of running up to your machine in the gas hose, you'll be able to see that ball bearing ever so slowly moving, which before without the line could be a bit tricky to see. So there we have it. An inexpensive addition to your gas setup that adds efficiency and accuracy. Thanks for watching.